Hello friends, this video on control and coordination part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So first let us talk about, as I said, we will discuss the systems in detail in case of human beings because it is not possible to discuss the systems in detail of each and every class of organism. So what we thought is we will discuss the human beings coordination that is the endocrine system and the nervous system in detail and we will also have a look at the systems of different animals in, in short. So let us talk about the coordination in human beings. So let us talk about the coordination in human beings. So in human beings the first system which takes care of coordination is the endocrine system. So this endocrine system will basically take care of the slower body processes, the processes which are relatively so slower. For example, cell growth, the growth of the cells. I mean, when we see a small kid growing into a big adult, it doesn't happen overnight, right? So it takes time. So it is a relatively slower process. So such processes are taken care or handled by the endocrine system, the growth process, right? The next one is the nervous system. So as I mentioned in my previous slide, so what will the nervous system take care of? It will take care of the relatively faster processes. For example, our movements, the heartbeat, so the scenarios which I was talking about in the first slide, like a man running after seeing a tiger or when you put your leg on fire, you immediately take it back or when you get an electric shock. So these are some of the scenarios where some movement is involved and these processes takes place very fast. For example, when you put your leg on the fire, you immediately remove it right or when you see a tiger you start running so the processes are happening very fast and the response is also quite quick so these processes are taken care by the nervous system and the slower processes for example growth now you might ask why does growth need a control and coordination now when i talk of growth you would have seen that it is not that people just grow here and there like every human being the growth will take place only at certain areas and that too it will take place within limits. For example, our fingers will also grow as we grow up from a child to an adult. Now the fingers also grow but they grow only at certain points. It is not that we will have fingers on our head, right? So the fingers will grow only at the specific locations and that too they will grow within limit. Have you ever seen a person whose fingers are as long as his own height? No, right? So everything will grow in a proportion. Whereas the height of a person will grow more. So that means everything, every cell which is growing, each and every cell knows how much it has to grow. So the growth is also controlled and it happens only at specific places in a specific pattern. So control and coordination also plays a role in growth. So this endocrine system and nervous system together takes care of the control and coordination in human beings. So we will now talk about endocrine system and after that we will discuss about the nervous system. So the human endocrine system. This system will talk about the chemical coordination in human beings. Now you might be wondering when this system is going to talk about the chemicals, why is it named endocrine? Because generally the name of any process or any organ is generally related to something. It holds some meaning, right? So in this case, you might ask that why did this system get its, got its name as endocrine? So we will talk about that. So here we will see that there are some chemicals which are produced inside the body of human beings and those chemicals actually help to coordinate between many organs. Now all endocrine glands together form the endocrine system. So now you got the name. Okay, so endocrine system, they got their name from the endocrine glands. So this is going to be a new term for you, endocrine glands. 
Now, before you get to know what are endocrine glands, it is very much needed that you know what are glands. What actually are glands? When you know what are glands, only then you will know what are endocrine glands. Right? Now, when I was talking about this endocrine system some time back, I told you that what happens in this system, some chemicals are produced. Who produces that chemicals? The excited cells or the stimulated cells. Right? So, the stimulated cells will produce some chemicals and these chemicals are known as hormones. So, now we will see what do these hormones do? From where are these hormones produced? So, who produces these hormones? the endocrine glands so the endocrine glands produces these hormones and that is why this system is known as endocrine system because here we will only talk about the chemicals and what are those chemicals those chemicals are nothing but the hormones so they are a specific type of glands which produces hormones now, in human body also are present various endocrine glands at different locations inside our body. So, now you, there are many questions running in your mind. Okay, so we got a new name that is endocrine gland. They, what do they do? They produce hormones. Now, these endocrine glands are also present in our body. But even now it is not clear what a gland is. So, for that we will give some time, we will spend some time in understanding what is a gland. Then we will see what is an endocrine gland and then we will talk about the hormones, right? So first we will talk about glands, then we will talk about the endocrine glands, then we will talk about hormones, right? So these endocrine glands secrete hormones into the blood and these hormones are carried by blood to specific organs. So now you know how the transfer of information takes place. So you need something who will actually carry the information from one part of the body to another. So what is that th something? That something is the, these chemicals that is hormones. So the endocrine glands will produce hormones and then they will leave it in the blood. Now blood keeps flowing throughout the body. So the hormones will also get carried by the blood to the specific organs. So that is how your information will reach different parts of the body. So overall you got an idea about the endocrine system. So now we will understand it in detail. So we will talk about glands. So here you can see a picture of the human endocrine system. So this picture actually shows the position of the different endocrine glands in the body because those are the glands which will actually produce some hormones. So it shows the position of various endocrine glands like we have a gland here, we have a gland here, we again have a gland here, we have some glands above the kidneys, we have some glands in the reproductive organs, right? So throughout our body at many places we have specific endocrine glands. So we will talk about them after some time. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.